Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see about the nickel cadmium batteries and lead acid batteries and the difference between both of them. So uh, nowadays, nickel cadmium batteries, nickel cadmium batteries due to their uh, less cap size and weight, they are mostly used in your uh, compactable type of devices like. Uh, in a aerospace system also this nickel cadmium batteries have been used then uh, lead acid battery which is a old type and uh, little much uh, space required for its uh, installation so it is used in your uh, uh, low voltages uh, like uh, low purpose kind of thing in our household and uh, very very less uh, power required areas this uh, lead acid batteries are been used coming up to the overview lead acid batteries lead acid batteries main component is your uh, lead peroxide then sponge lead and dilute sulfuric acid so the anode is your lead peroxide which uh, act as a positive plate and cathode is your uh, lead uh, pure lead which act as a negative plate then your electrolytic solution is your H2SO4 sul sulfuric acid which is dipped with uh, water in a ratio of uh, 3 is to 1 so the main thing is that the sulfuric acid which is your electrolytic solution during at the time of discharging uh, it will get split into a hydrogen ion and a SO4 ions so that SO4 ions will further move towards your uh, cathode uh, lead and uh, forms a uh, pbso4 and the free electrons which means free hydrogen ions uh, which will be emitted as a gas that is a uh, poisonous and toxic for our uh, environment so in this way the conversion of a chemical energy to a electrical energy and uh, vice versa which takes place in your uh, lead acid batteries so Coming up to the next topic, uh, nickel cadmium batteries. Here, the nickel cadmium battery main components are uh, nickel, uh, is which act as your anode or positive plate, then the cadmium which act as your uh, negative plate, and uh, electrolytic solution is your uh, potassium hydroxide or uh, sodium hydroxide. In here, the chemical energy to electrical energy conversion is takes place when a electrolytic solution KOH gets split into a potassium and a OH ions. The further this OH ion will be mingled with your anode nickel and forms a NiOH2. So in this way, the chemical to electrical energy conversion takes place. Then which is uh, known as your discharging uh, whenever the batteries are connected with the load and further if for the recharging the the electrical energy will be converted into a chemical energy which means the uh, ions will move to their uh, original position and regains the energy so coming up to the small example of your uh, nickel cadmium battery working so in here cathode 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 cadmium and uh, anode nickel ions whenever the electrolytic solutions and dipped with the uh, water of a uh, 3 to 1 ratio get uh, uh, converted due to the load when uh, whenever the load is connected with your batteries it will automatically get converted so in this way the nickel will combined with the OH ion and forms a NiOH2 and the cadmium also uh, combined with the OH ion and forms a CdOH2 so in this way the chemical conversions takes place and the load will be having charges and if the power is retained and further the battery need to be charged so in during at that time the ions will move to their original position 
and regains the chemical energy coming up to the main differences first cost wise difference lead acid batteries are economically good because of their low cost it can be used in your small equipments household things then for a less power required areas so it will be good for your less power required area then nickel cadmium battery it is uh, very much higher when compared with the lead acid batteries the initial cost will be very much higher then next is your energy density rate actually the energy density rate in the sense the amount of energy which can be stored in your parcel so in uh, lead acid battery we can store up to 30 to 50 uh, whatever per kilogram the energy density is a okay is kind of thing not a very good or better thing in nickel cadmium the energy density is 45 to 80 it is better than the lead acid battery next is your life cycle usage so a lead acid batteries uh, may have a 200 to 300 cycles per uh, life which means uh, the discharge and the charging capacity is up to 200 to 300 for a cell uh, but in uh, nickel cadmium it is about uh, 1500 cycles per cell which means uh, charging and discharging can be possible up to 1500 times per cycle for cycles next is your fast charging time so the lead acid there is no possible of fast charging or quick charging uh, and it will takes nearly about 8 to 10 hours for fully charging a battery cells so whenever the discharging is takes place up to a more than a 50 percent means it should be fully charged we cannot uh, use the lead acid battery with a uh, partially charging if we use these uh, lead acid batteries with a uh, partially charging means automatically our uh, efficiency of the battery will get reduced in the other hand nickel cadmium battery can be uh, quick charged or float or trickle charges is possible so uh, the fast charging rate is about uh, within a one hour we can reach the fully charged condition of your nickel cadmium batteries so even though it is fully charged in a uh, fast condition it cannot be used in a partial charging level which means uh, if we use the battery in a partial charged condition means automatically our efficiency of the battery get reduced in uh, nickel cadmium batteries also next is cell voltage lead acid batteries have a nominal voltage of up to 2 volt it can be uh, changed up to uh, according to the manufacturers it may be up to 1.8 to 2 volt for cell will be then uh, nickel cadmium battery is up to 1.25 voltage per cell so in this we can easily able to know that uh, if uh, area require uh, 10 numbers of nickel cadmium battery means uh, but the lead acid battery will be uh, require about uh, 8 to 7 numbers only but even though uh, it high level of cell voltage uh, in a lead acid battery but the per cell space will be very much higher than the nickel cadmium batteries and then next is your self discharge rate uh, the lead acid battery having a very low uh, self discharge rate which is about a 5 percent per month so uh, and uh, this can be avoided by uh, trickle charging the batteries whenever uh, ne we need to store a battery means uh, uh, before storage uh, in a lead acid battery we need to remove the uh, electrolytic solution uh, which means uh, we need to fully charge the battery and uh, remove this electrolytic solution and keep this uh, battery as a dry cell type of kind so in this way uh, we need to store a lead acid battery in the other hand the nickel cadmium battery which is having a very very high uh, self discharge rate which is about a 20 percent per month so it should it should be kept at a trickle charging uh, mode which means a very slow charging mode in order to maintain the 
efficiency of the battery and also uh, need if the efficiency need to be in a good condition means automatically we need to maintain this battery in a very good level next is your limitation actually in a lead acid batteries the spilling of a h2so4 electrolytic solution and uh, over watering which leads to a uh, highly dangerous uh, infectious thing for the human beings because the spilling of the acid will automatically uh, damage our skins then uh, emission of uh, hydrogen gases which means uh, whenever the discharging is happening automatically it will emit uh, hydrogen gases uh, which will also pollute the environment then nickel cadmium uh, the nickel cadmium battery uh, it is a it contains a uh, toxic metals which is your cadmium so this cadmium uh, which will affect our respiratory system and also the skin disease will be happening for the human beings so uh, this kind of uh, battery uh, is uh, and for the household usage in some of the countries next is your application the lead acid batteries are mostly used in your uh, um, small kind of equipment like some pumps uh, which is used in uh, medium and low voltage uh, electric power stations then uh, used in your electric motors then in your submarines and in your uh, nuclear submarines so uh, these are all the common applications used of in your uh, lead acid battery and also for the household equipment lead acid batteries are mostly preferred because of their economical cost then coming up to the nickel cadmium battery uh, it is mainly used in your aerospace equipment like uh, aeroplanes and jet rockets because of their compactable size and used in your solar based systems or uh, energy systems nowadays then for your portable power tools like portable chargers portable device kind of things where wherever the compactability or the size of the battery is less means automatically uh, we, we will prefer uh, nickel cadmium batteries then uh, for the emergency lighting and uh, portable electronic devices flashlights uh, this kind of things uh, the nickel cadmium batteries are being used hope you have understand i think so have a nice day see you in next video nandri vanakkam